Welcome everyone to another episode of Nerdistan, a podcast where we celebrate being weird and being nerds. I'm your host Manoj Mathi, and joining me today is my brother from another mother, Jayanaya. Damn, Manoj, that three times you have said that your same intro, bro. Come on, man, it's new week. There should be new energy. And uh, bro, you should understand. <laughs> you have become very close to me, so you're like a brother, yeah. you know. Uh, so I get emotional every time uh, I do this intro. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Okay. Oh, yeah, but that, that's great, enough for great. the intro. We always spend a lot of time in the intro. And <laughs> yeah. We waste a lot of time in the podcast. We're trying to make it, you know, crispier. We're trying to make it quicker, you know, like a fast-paced thriller movie. It's not yeah. Just, <laughs> it's just novel. So, uh, but uh, today we'll be talking about a different kind of genre of movies. Basically, uh, we'll be talking about movies that take place on a screen. Now these movies don't really have a particular kind of name. I think there should be a name, but uh, it's probably probably called like a on-screen stuff yeah. happening in screen movies, basically. S H S H S S H S. We introduced it. Everyone is going to use it now. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag S H S movies. <laughs> yeah. But uh, seriously, like uh, today, like uh, in the last week, a Malayalam film called See You Soon had released. And that was a movie that entirely took place on screen, and very much inspired from another movie called Searching. But uh, the format, you would say, inspired from another movie called Searching. So we thought we would discuss movies of that genre today. We also thought we would like discuss some crazy video call stories today. So basically, your online class has gone wrong, or your work from home sessions gone wrong. So I have a few stories here. So you know, we'll do that in the end. There will be timestamps to each movies that we are going to talk about today. So basically, we'll we'll be talking about searching and see you soon. Those are the just yeah. the two movies we'll be talking about, and rest all will be the movies that will be the rest all will be the stories that we'll be getting into. I don't know why I said movies there, you know, <laughs> <laughs> a little all over the place today. Uh, anyway, so uh, we'll start. We will jump over to the movie searching. So searching is a movie released in two thousand eighteen. It was directed by Anish Chagandi. And it's about a 16-year-old daughter, a daughter, oh, daughter. A 16-year-old daughter goes missing, and a desperate father breaks into a laptop to look to look for flu to look for clues to find her. I'm all over the place today. <laughs> so uh, that's like the IMDb synopsis of the movie. So this is a movie that takes place entirely on a screen. Like it goes between screens, but it it's basically it exists in a very virtual space basically and uh, this this discussion we're going to have is going to be very spoiler filled so if you haven't watched the movie don't listen to what we're going to say this movie is a great watch but jay you just watched this movie right now yeah you just finished watching it right now so i want to hear your fresh thoughts on the movie searching i loved it man i absolutely loved it like from frame within 5 minutes the movie generated enough emotions and curiosity to me to this like keep engaged to the screen actually to the screen what they were showing yeah. for the like the rest of the 90 minutes and it was amazing you know like i never feel like i know it's a bit obvious to say like we, i never feel bored any on a single second but uh, within every 15 minutes we are getting some new information to which was leading for the next 15 minutes you know there was this constant true, curiosity true, true. like what's going to happen even when it's about to end when there was like 5 to 10 minutes remaining it feels like there's so much more and it was they were revealing constantly i was like oh my god what they're going to do next what they're going to do next and it doesn't cross the like uh it keeps grounded all the time as well like it stays very close to the story and there are so many things which i loved about like this was the fir- like first of a kind movie right so true true and like uh, when you are watching something of this like when a uh, new film maker is trying to experiment something new and it like it keeps you like it generally takes a couple of minutes to like get into the vibe and the like surrounding the filmmaker is going for it but immediately you know like the uh, the three things which i really want to talk about is first the first very first scene he's just like he's using windows xp and he's mm. like and it's so real how he you know it's such a small thing but 
the yeah. way he just drags his cursor from one place to another na like he's so new to the screen and i yeah, yeah. get it immediately because it's not like he was like uh, he was told to do like you have to take your cursor from this to this he was like he first time use the computer and he just uh, slowly he's just wondering where is this place okay right, right. there are, it's the these small small decision really makes a great impact while you're watching the movie from the other side and yeah. second is like the unsent messages oh my god in the first 10 minutes when there is a like uh, there was supposed to be a conversation between him and a, his daughter and he texted so many things at one but yeah, yeah, deleted yeah. it it yeah. you know that that again gives that, some that's, more realistic yeah. vibe yeah yeah because, i just want to add like the director of the movie also said that you know each backspace that yeah. character makes when he writes it, like it shows emotion which exactly, you don't get in a normal exactly, kind of thing you know exactly. like he's saying something but we are like reading his thoughts when he writes yeah, something it's, and it exactly. impacts people so it's so good that, and you know like i always think like if you're taking a bold decision like what searching did with the way of filmography as we were talking about yeah. earlier it requires a definite reason for it you can't just go on experimenting without like having a grounded reason or something to pull back on and this yeah. movie has you know every frame shown you know why it is shown like this only not like a general theatrical way because true, like true. and even when the camera was shifting from webcam and it was such a great transition you know like when the news channel were covering the issue they immediately go from webcam to the news uh, like uh, news news camera the transition yeah the yeah, transition it yeah it was so <laughs> cool you know i was just thinking how are going to shoot this like what yeah. they going to use now because there has to be some like media coverage of it then they yeah. immediately shifted to oh my god it was such a great like i'm just blown away by this movie and i'm really pissed at myself that i'm so late to watch this movie like i kept telling jay like i i literally before we was watching the movie i was like you watch this you'll be blown away and then when the movie like uh, i he told me that we yeah, i'm going to watch it now so i kind of estimated like when he would finish the movie and uh, we we were going to we schedule the podcast recording then i told i told him like you know what uh, I, i i didn't know i i i had no idea if he had finished seeing the movie but i just put a message saying that you know take 30 more minutes because you will be blown away by the ending so you yeah. know just th- take 30 more minutes to recover and then we'll do the podcast after that and he was like Oh man, you are very overconfident, but you are right. This movie was. Awesome. <laughs> hey, 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 come on, you are not bragging about. I, I am fabricating it. He never told me that, but <laughs> he told me, "Manu, you are great. You are so good." Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, I do with that. Yeah. Uh, dude, this this film, like it, the way it explores emotion of these characters, like because it takes place in a virtual space, you might think that okay, you know what, they might not be able to explore the emotion of these characters. But right from the first frame, right from the montage that we have seen, like we see this montage over all these years of these characters, and I think I uh, there is this podcast done by. Uh, There's this podcast called Lessons from the Screen. I don't think that podcast is like like they don't make new episodes, I guess, right now. But they have this episode with the director and the writer of this film, and mm-hmm. in that they it's I think a two-hour podcast. I think they break down every element that they went for. And you when they when you like listen to the podcast, you get a lot more lot more insights into the film. Like he talked about how hard it was to come up with the montage. the first one does because you're trying to show this relationship between these characters and you're going yeah. to, you're taking you using the screen to like depict the entire events like you know and these are not easy events you know they're trying to establish emotions they are trying to establish the family they're trying to make you care for this family in just 5 minutes they go over the death of his wife in a very impactful way it's not just brushed over you really see the family sort of struggle through this and it's done every it's all done through screens and that just blows me away like that kind of emotion they were able to depict depict throughout the film and even when the drama gets intense as the movie goes yeah. on you know the way how it goes from each frame and it doesn't miss a beat not for one second are you exactly. lost not for yeah. one second are you like just looking at the screen and reading and tired you're like following each and every information that comes into like when uh, this when his father and the main protagonist of the film like portrayed by John Show i think that's his name yeah. when he like uh, enters into like his uh, daughter's laptop you get this feeling of intruding someone's space like you're yeah. like intruding a private space of someone else and you get this feeling of excitement and nervousness also you're like oh man like i'm reading someone else's messages and stuff like that you know yeah. you get this different perspective that i don't think you would really get in a normal feature length film which is not yeah. shot in this way and uh, due the way they have portrayed all of this it just 
it surprises me so much. I, I feel like this film is so underrated. I don't yeah, think it gets sure. For it gets sure. a decent amount of attention. Like I, whenever wherever I go, I scream over this movie. I'm like, you should watch Searching. Like I literally scream over this film. But I feel like not many people like really hold this film in such regard, and yeah. that's a little disappointing. Like I would, I would think that this is like this film is up there for me, you know, and yeah, it's true, really close true, to my true. heart. Maybe it's because of the emotions that they depicted with their family and uh, just uh, just the raw acting talent. Like, like yeah. uh, see, that's one more thing about this format. The actors is uh, like the they are just they their faces are on screen all times. Like yeah. you just see them and they are emoting on screen, and the audience they just see their face. You know, like for the most part, and you have to like go with that character. The character is taking you on this journey, and it's they don't have like the luxury of like showing you beautiful sights and stuff like that. Yeah, true. It's all inside this, and the way this film, the filmmakers of this movie have sort of used this format. It really yeah. blows me away, and I just want to talk about the fact that how they manage to keep the mystery a food ex- ex- till ex- the exactly, end. Exactly, exactly. Like till the end. Yeah, go on. You were going yeah. to say something. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. That's the thing. You know, like it is exploring the new genre, which is like the first of its kind, but it's still holding, uh, checking on to all the tick boxes for a very good thriller movie. You know, like what makes a movie exciting and thrilling is the fact that. you only get so much which you only need for the like 10 15 minutes till the next clue shows up otherwise yeah. it, there is no point you know like if you guess the twist final twist which was supposed to be the final twist of any movie like in the first 10 minutes itself you won't be like uh, engaged to the screen you know like yeah, sure. so, and they the filmmaker does a pretty great job at it because like it's not like at any point of time i didn't feel like oh my god like i'm very close to the twist because they never showed it to us you know they are yeah. act, they're slowly uh, raising the curtains and it's like act 1 act 2 there are so many things going on at like at first i, I feel like okay this is like this feels exciting but maybe the ending i, I don't know why all the like while watching the movie i was only thinking about the uh, the prestige three act told by michael king you know? <laughs> like in yeah, every yeah, act yeah, as three yeah. act at the end you sh- you you have to bring otherwise it's no magic and i was yeah. just thinking well, will they bring it back because at a time i was like very afraid oh my god are they really going to like killer or something like because i can't true true it. true yeah. Yeah. like the because way they sort of made a satisfying like ending yeah, exactly. in spite of the odds like being stacked against and them that was so cool man bro go on, that, go on. that that scene like Uh, she only have to survive for two days. The rain. I was like, oh, the rain. Dude. Of course, the rain. And even when the rain came, even when the rain yeah. first came, like we didn't think anything of it. You know, like yeah, like, yeah. Oh my it god. was natural. So natural. Like, yeah. When the rain first came, I remember thinking, like, "Oh my God, are you kidding me? Like we are already so late in finding, like searching for yeah, her." Yeah. And on top of that, you have the rain also come in. Like yeah. seriously, man! Like the way they did that and the amazing, man! I'm in mean, awe of this movie, you know, man. <laughs> But uh, one more thing I want to talk about this film is the humor. Oh, like there are lots of Beaver there concept. are few the it's Beaver not a lot concept. of humor oh, there are like the a few Beaver and concept. i remember like listening to the podcast and the director was explaining that and uh, like there was such a funny scene they put in and they uh, they actually went through a lot of alternatives like mm. uh, the scene which we are mentioning is a scene where he's uh, like he's like interrogating the kid and asking mm. him like where where you last night like <laughs> why you know, why are you not telling me the truth Tell me where you were, and then then after that, they, it cuts to a scene where he's just writing la, last scene, and like he was at Bieber concert, he was yeah, at Bieber concert, can, and uh, can apparently some... they yeah they went through a lot of different alternate uh, like alternatives of what they could put there, and in the mm-hmm. end they settled for Justin Bieber concert, and yeah. I was like that's so funny, yeah. but even I think uh, the even the scene where you know us uh, like he's contacting his one of his sisters, one of his daughters' yeah. uh, friend's mother. And the mom is like they gone to the they gone to the mountains. Mountains. He's yeah. like, of course, of course, she yeah. told me. I left them. I said, then immediately it cuts to him like going on this ramp, <laughs> going going completely angry on her. Like, yeah. can't you be more responsible now? You, how dare you do this? And you just <laughs> there's few bits of humor that's there. I think it's done very well and it helps in sort of you know balancing the movie out. Yeah, yeah. But uh, dude, this movie is. Uh, like you will there's a point in the movie where you will forget to breathe 
exactly the end, true you will be like yeah, oh, what is yeah. happening like <laughs> true, especially true. when the last twist is kind of revealed oh boy that's <laughs> the, the last 20 minutes is so heavy like i can't yeah, yeah, yeah. you know i was legit like what what is happening oh my god like there's so many things going on there's literally so many things going on and you know one thing it feels like like uh, now when i'm thinking about it huh? like uh, when i was watching it feels like a very good made thriller movie in a new genre yeah. but but it's such a detailed well written script you know it's exposing the hum- human hypocrisy as well because yeah. like at first when his father was inquiring about her daughter towards like from so her so called friend none of them yeah. were really close to him but when like just to get famous and j- like make use of it yeah, their yeah, friend yeah. started like she was very close to me and all and they he has done a, such a brilliant job raising that thing you know <laughs> like i don't want to sound like like uh, okay like it sounded a bit like the paul brothers like yeah. when those scenes oh, yeah, came yeah, like yeah, 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 <laughs> i was like yeah, of course, I, of course. I, i feel like jake paul and lone one they would be doing the exact same thing <laughs> like obviously they don't even like they don't even exist for them like, yeah. but it, it yeah. just felt funny because you know i've seen seen them sort of engage in such sort of stuff yeah. where, you know they, they try to sort of you know uh, sort of how they say it, sort of like take advantage of certain events true, and true. i'm not saying they are they would do that but it just reminded me of that real thing okay yeah. i'm not accusing anyone <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i don't no need to do yeah. that because they <laughs> themselves know how to get themselves into trouble yeah. Yeah. yeah so whatever <laughs> yeah so that's you know that small small little detailing makes a like good script very great you know things yeah. like these and i really love it here like I'm going to think about this movie for a very long time because you know yeah. like I have like I always feel like our phone our devices like electronic devices know so much about us because there are so many unsent conversations uh, yeah. unhappened messages like our social media literally know so much about us like very how cool. like what could be our world from their perspective and this movie shows it like brilliantly very true man yeah like uh, uh like what you said was very true because um i kind of uh, like i was kind of was in a relationship before so uh, even now like you know her name comes like in front like i'm like okay i guess google knows i was in like no one else knew but google knew. yeah 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 <laughs> but uh, one more thing i just want to talk about is the fact that uh, the director of this film he described that information is both something that everyone's seeking like it's something that they presented to everyone in this film like right in the face of everyone but it's yeah. also something that everyone is seeing it's like both an obstacle and it's something that they are offered like yeah. I, i kind of found that you know comparison really cool like the way he sort of explained that and True. dude overall this film is an absolute i think it's a must watch like well, yeah, it, it's yeah. it, it's for sure it's a pretty short film it's just yeah. 100 minutes long i think and it goes off like a bullet like really like one twist or another and the twist all makes sense it's nothing like exactly. too over the top maybe in the yeah. end they go a little bit over the top but still the screenplay structure is so well like they use this format brilliantly like even in the end there was a point where you know you have you have this interrogation between uh, the police inspector who's arrested and the police yeah. and you sort of have this interrogation and by that time the characters in the story have already experienced what has happened to margo yeah. the the mm. daughter who was missing but we yeah. don't know and this, this interrogation something she is recounting the events and then yeah. it's like cut to the, what was happening before and these are like a non linear sort of structures which which they use in normal like like regular kind of movies that don't true, employ true, such true. kind of virtual yeah. image imagery and yeah. stuff like that but the way that they implemented that technique on for this that blew my mind and that that's something i really noticed now like on my third rewatch that actually the, that scene takes place after this and they're yeah. recounting the event over here and just the way they reveal the twist like that you know you can have the best twist in the world but if you can't reveal it properly you yeah. lose all that you know sort of like that punch that comes with that twist yeah. and the way they reveal it like you know with the cars all going and it's like you know yeah. wait you know it's not 5 days it's only been 2 it rained on saturday and then you have all the cars spin around and I, i was i remember when i was watching the first time i was just sitting like upright and i was just watching the screen <laughs> yeah, i was same, like same, oh my god bro, wait what happened what happened wait <laughs> stop what's going to happen like, is she alive yeah. and 
Dude, I'm so glad they didn't kill her off. Like I know people yeah, say that so maybe so that's a little unrealistic and stuff like that. But no, just it just kept such a satisfying ending, and it has a pretty reasonable explanation. Yeah, as to why she still serves. And it's not like it hasn't happened before. Like because in mm. India, man, like I have literally watched these type of news in news channel. You know, while growing up, when I was like five or six, there there's this kid who was like fell into the well for the last forty eight hours, and there's this rescue mission going on to like rescue him from the well, like forty eight hours, sixty hours, or something like that. I have watched so many bulletins like this. You oh, know, okay. like it didn't like it. It's it fits so perfectly. It, yeah. Everything like I love it. Like in short, yeah, I can lit like as as we both love this movie, we can literally talk about it like for hours yeah. and yeah, hours. I, yeah, I uh, yeah, I just want to say this the podcast listeners, so I love this movie so much. Like I even wrote like I was obsessed with this genre of filmmaking yeah. because I I don't know if we, we can even call it a genre, but like I first saw it in Modern Family, uh, the movie Modern, uh, not the TV show Modern Family, and in season six there was an episode called Connection Lost. and the entire sort of episode like takes place inside Claire's laptop Claire's one of the main characters in that and just then it blew me away okay and i, I kept thinking that i even told like my best friend that you know what we should i i feel like i have a very cool idea like this will be so cool but i i couldn't come up with any idea to sort of depict you know because i am like how do you do this and then i was searching and it just blew me away and i uh, like i sort of started researching everything about the director and you know i sort of watched his old works i mean he has done a short film with google glass like which oh. released uh, a few years back i think before searching it that was like an ad for google glass basically that one was also so inspiring and then i i, I think uh, there was a podcast which he did with lessons of the screen which i mentioned earlier and i just listened to that and sort of like they sort of uh, showed examples of how the script was written and then i sort of got cracking i sort of wrote my own script uh, like this is 23 pages long it was not a mystery because i i, I had no idea how to talk searching in terms of mystery mm-hmm. but i wrote this love story kind of story uh, kind of uh, kind of it's a script great, and it's great Yeah, Jay has read it. Wondering. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Jay has read it, so you know. I mean, I just want to say that's what that like that that's not been made of film or anything. I've just kept it away, and I won't. I kind of thought I might do it during this time lockdown, but things didn't pan out, unfortunately. Maybe one day I'll still make it, but I might improve on it. Hopefully, maybe one day I'll still make it, but uh, that's still sort of like stacked away, locked away for now. And anyway, but that's how much I love this format, and you know, uh, like the main reason why we talked about something today was that. a uh, one of my one of my very favorite film industries basically mollywood basically it's basically from kerala in india if you have any <laughs> foreign listeners which we might get because we have a few stories from uh, yeah. outside but uh, basically like so it's a film industry surrounded on kerala mollywood basically and th- th- we have attended a film of this genre like recently and uh, but uh, unfortunately that film was made under all this lockdown lockdown requirements and uh, restrictions so I would say that film definitely pales in comparison to Searching, in many ways because I think Searching it's like that golden egg, you know, it's a gold yeah. standard for filmmaking, uh, Searching. But I don't think and I think See You Soon does a pretty decent job in emulating the technology and emulating a decent story. But overall, I guess you know it it, it can't come in par with Searching. Maybe yeah. if you make a film not in during the lockdown, whether they whether the filmmakers can just go completely berserk, it might work. But anyway, but True. anyway, before you be before we go to see you soon, uh, Jay, do you have any final thoughts in searching? Uh, like, if you are still with like after the last twenty five minutes of rambling of me and Mano, <laughs> like how much we love this movie. If you're still like, I I hope yeah, watch. I hope yeah. you didn't listen to it because we we <laughs> did give a spoiler warning, and the main reason yeah. why I gave a spoiler warning here was even though this is a two year old movie. I feel like there yeah. are still many people out there who haven't watched it, and True. it was there in Amazon Prime Video. It's not there anymore. Mm-hmm. It's very unfortunate, and I don't really know if it's available in any video OTT platforms. Uh, mm-hmm. If it's available, we'll put it in the description, so it will make will make life easier for you. I guess. Yeah. But <laughs> but uh, anyway, so I guess now we'll go to uh, see, see you, you soon. soon. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I watched See You Soon like uh, last week, uh, one day after it came out. I even put a review out. Uh, on you know my feelings about the film, so uh, I'll just give my initial thoughts and then I'll go to Jay and Jay will explain what his thoughts on the movie were. But overall, I thought it was a pretty decent movie. Uh, I totally understand the restrictions that they had. It was lockdown time. The fact that they were able to pull off a movie like this during lockdown that speaks volumes of how efficient this industry actually is. Like, I can't see this happening anywhere else. I think even in Hollywood, they pulled off one film. I think uh, there's a film yeah. with Zendaya and. <laughs> John David Washington 
which they shot during the lockdown. So I think that just a few projects have actually moved ahead. So and yeah. I think so, see you soon. Uh, you can't compare it with Sourcing because I feel like it's a much more experimental film. And True. to everyone out there who's saying that it's a copy of Sourcing, it's not a copy of Sourcing. No, it's, a, it's not. It's just that mm-hmm. they've used the same format. It's yeah. a storytelling device. It's used be- It's used in many movies. So I think it was not the first movie. As I said, Modern yeah. Family used it. There was a film called Unfriended that used it before that. In, in fact, the production house that made Searching actually specializes in such kind of films. Like uh, told in a virtual space, basically. So, you know, mm. uh, just putting it out there, it's not a copy. Uh, I think C. Usain is a very decent film. It has very strong performances. Like, very yeah, strong performances. Yeah. Uh, like that will like uh, really like make you respect the Malayalam film industry a lot, and uh, the technology depicted all of that is really good. It's it's on par with searching in terms of the technology depicted on screen and stuff like that. The only place where the that film uh, see you soon falters is in the in its writing, where I feel like if you especially watch searching, and if you yeah. watch see you soon, I think those are the people who have not been that receptive to see you soon. Whereas people who are watching see you soon for the first time, they have been more enthusiastic about it. I'm someone yeah. who was a big fan of searching, but when I was here, so I was able to like sort of like you know, uh, sort of like lower my expectations. I, I understood mm. exactly like what was happening with that film. Yeah. So I I, I judged it very fairly. I think it's a decent watch. The writing could have been a lot more tighter. The writing could have been more, more impactful. It could yeah. have been a better story. But I think overall it's a decent watch. You can check out my review on YouTube. It, it's it's out on YouTube and that's also a pretty short review and. It's more general in terms of how good this genre is, you know, where yeah. each click reveals a new information, each sort of uh, backspace reveals a new emotion, and I think yeah. this genre is so great. But now I'll just go over to Jay on his thoughts on this movie series. So. Yeah, uh, first things first. Uh, like I want to tell about the positive of the movie. Man, the performances. Oh my God, we all know that Fahad Fasil is such such a great actor, you know. But sure. for me, like the shining star is Darshana. Like she took it, she Dude. like for she, bro. She was she. Uh, I can't even express it. She like, carried she the did. entire film exactly. Because I would say Fahad and Roshan are in like you know supporting roles. Because yeah, she yeah. is the she is a driving force of the movie. The bro. story actually the story gets interesting when they're searching the water. Like exactly, when they're looking at the yeah. backstory, they're like, who is she? You know, why is there someone with the same name over there? Oh, wait, yeah. I should also probably say a spoiler warning for See You Soon as well. Just oh, to give yes. us a free <laughs> reign. Just to give us a free reign so <laughs> that, you know, true, we true. don't spoil it. And it's a pretty recent yeah. film. I know there are probably a lot of people who didn't get the time to watch it and were yeah. probably looking at it. My uh, rip, my uh, video on YouTube is spoiler free. So yeah. if you're like, uh, if you still want a review from us, which I don't know why, but, you know, if, you, <laughs> if you're like, you know, you like listening to our voices. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> I know that never, that's never going to happen, but still. Anyway, Jay, go yeah. on. Yeah, like she carried the whole movie for me. There was this like mystery with her eyes, like she does. I don't know how. Like that shows the caliber of her. Like I really want to sh- like see all of her others work now because like within a limited like you know we are basically recording a screen when you are doing like recording for the yeah. film. And with that, with so many restrictions, you pulled out such a great performance. Like, I can't even imagine the things she can do with, like, a proper theatrical view. Like, she, she's a, she's explosive. Man. She, she's, she has done some pretty good movies also before this. Oh, is it? This, I think it's a third or fourth film, I think. I could be wrong. Uh, man, for I'm a fresher, she, she's amazing. Like, she's she not is, a fresher as far as I know. Like, it's a, a third or fourth. Said, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, uh, like, I probably have to check it, but uh, even, like, she's apparently from a theater world. She has done oh. a lot of theater. Even, uh, in fact, she and Roshan Matthew, that the, the main lot, protagonist, yeah, that exp- they, yeah, I, that I also heard that they are in a relationship, I think. I'm not oh. very sure about that. We don't really talk about that in this podcast, but if they are, congrats to them. Are, she has done so Very many cool. movies, man. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's what I'm saying. I think she's not yeah. a pressure. Like, you know, from, yeah, I, I'm definitely, a, I I've right. definitely seen yeah. her in many movies. But yeah. irrespective of uh, her being a fresher or not, like, she's a fantastic yeah. actress. Like, I, we can all agree yeah. to that. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. I just, uh, just also, one scene that hmm. I just want to talk about is the scene where I think, there's a scene where Roshan is very worried about her and yeah. uh, like and he's also in a call with someone else in an office yeah. in his office yeah. and they're like busy telling him you should pressurize him and he is like so frustrated with the office call and <laughs> he's just lend, rending out the frustration in the messages he's like hey yeah. wait respond and then call after you see SF, him yeah. yeah then after you see him like sort of like relaxing he's like you know 
because because yeah. there would already be constant comparison now coming to see you soon the thing like which bugs me na, like the whole movie you know na it revolves around one la- one key information one the mystery basically of, yeah one and the there are no there are not a lot of twists related to that also Ex- exactly like, there is this one particular information if you know it like within the first 10 15 minutes of the movie na the rest of the movie doesn't but like won't held you you know like won't engage or intrigue you in any way and that's what happened to me because like in the first 15 minutes when she was going for the modem and i saw the photo frame and then like after a couple of scenes she reveals that uh, her father like her so called father used to beat her and but she's not like she does not want to talk to her something like that i felt i i felt something fishy i knew something like something like is uh, it could be the f- uh, father could be the bad guy or like he's living away from his family and he's involved in this like women trafficking and stuff i knew it instantly and like that's the thing because like if your whole story revolves around one particular twist and you like manage to slip it away in the first 10 minutes 15 minutes na then it lo- loses me see i'm not doing a comparison but what made such thing constantly in- uh, in- engaging na is the fact that there are already like it's like a onion you know and yeah. layer by layer you feel like it has ended but no there is more there is more there is more true 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 the fine it's a much more layered film. film it's a much more layered film exactly and what you said na like with all the lockdown restriction going on i also felt the same thing you mm. know because it didn't feel like a movie like it for me it didn't feel like they were actually going to make this movie in this format they written the script uh, keeping in mind the theory yeah, but uh, you know, No, apparently it was written for this format. Oh, like okay, my okay. my story. But what I feel is that they might yeah. have a few more ideas yeah, which they yeah. couldn't have pulled off because of the lockdown restrictions. Like, it, and it, uh, apparently, see, this film was supposed to be an experimental sixty-minute yeah. film. Oh, this was okay. it was supposed to be an experimental sixty film, sixty-minute film. Mm. I am guessing they padded out the story. to make hmm. it a feature length film like maybe a prime video maybe like said that you know maybe the True. producer suggested that you know if you're doing 60 minutes and you know just add a few more information and yeah. i think that shows because uh, searching and this film have roughly the same run time for hmm. like i think searching yeah, yeah. 100 minutes, minutes plus minutes, yeah, yeah 10 minutes more right? and but searching there's a lot more in that time than see you soon like yeah, see you soon yeah. after the first mystery is revealed it's just a drama towards the end that goes exactly. nowhere like uh, there's yeah. running in the airport which is and, it's yeah. not it doesn't really and, do you know, much to the story I would, i would like to give props for the filmmakers to at least try you know th- at the first 10 minutes na they try to build the, like a uh, a character of a uh, 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 russian yeah yeah russian yeah. jimmy it, yeah, it, jimmy yeah yeah because like they introduce her mom uh, like they try to like establish a character of fahad fasils like yeah. how is this like road support road support guy yeah, and, yeah. Uh, how they like even with all the limitation na they they try you know that that's the beauty of it like in first attempt it's not necessary even pull it off you know it true, 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 true. multiple effort and the true. fact that they tried as much as they can you know the yeah. world they created was so fascinating the like they given uh, like uh, for helping the story they also made far passes character like data digger uh, Awesome. True, true, uh, true. Which was kind of exciting. It was exciting to see yeah. him sort of dig, and I just the most exciting part of the film is when he sort of digging into a past, you know, and yeah, like finding yeah, information. Yeah, yeah. And see, and, any yeah, film yeah. that makes you hooked on to the words being shown on screen is good. Ex- like yeah, if you're exactly. hooked on to the words shown on screen, like there's yeah. no dialogue, there's nothing. You're just looking at the words. You're just looking at scrolling the screen basically, yeah. and that has you hooked. That means the filmmakers yeah. have done a good job. Anyway, continue. True. <laughs> yeah. So. 
that's the thing when like he's uh, get to know about her past and like all this other person are having the wrong impression about her that she's some call girl or she is but there's a back story to it as well mm. like what is like why she is like that and true, when true, we true. actually get to know it's like moving you know just because as i said like darshana's performance she is incredible she's incredibly good man yeah like ah so for that like she's the soul part, of the film she's the soul of the film Oh like, yeah definitely for like, sure you know? for sure for sure so are those those were your thoughts of cs so i don't have much like as i said uh, even in my review that the writing is the main culprit i would say in making this mm. film go from good to great uh, it doesn't yeah. quite have that emotional punch it does have an emotional punch towards the end where you where yeah. the mystery is revealed and stuff like that and that is good but i guess it is a little bit padded like uh, as i said like the interesting portion takes like 40 minutes to kick in and yeah. the first love story is very the love story depicted is very rushed like if you compare the first 5 minutes of searching and the first 5 minutes of see you soon now oh. both these films have a 5 minute sort of segment introduction segment where they're trying to get you used to this format yeah. like they're trying to make you feel like okay this is the format which we're going into this is like a, it's like a training sort of phase for the audience like you yeah, know yeah. like let's get into this format but yeah, in searching yeah. it's done much more like you the amount of story that is uh, sort of gone through in searching the amount of depth of storytelling that's there in searching in just the five minutes like you care for the yeah, main characters it, you care exactly. about the story you care about the family you care about them losing this important member of their family you see their drift happening between the father and the daughter all of these are yeah. established in the first five minutes and that's yeah. something that see you soon couldn't quite manage like within the first five minutes i still was not buying the relationship between yeah, uh, true, roshan true, and uh, the true. True. the female character of the movie so uh anyway uh overall it's still a decent watch uh it should yeah. not be compared with searching like uh, oh, this no. film uh, i think even fat parcel sort of said that this film is a purely experimental film i just realized that i said that female guy i mean darshana rajit <laughs> like before i mean i just for a minute i just for a second i just blanked out on her name but anyway like uh, fat parcel even called it an experimental film uh and i totally see why and the fact that they were able to uh, they were able to pull off such a film in such a short amount of time true i think it speaks volumes of the yeah. cast and crew involved with this film and with that i think we have some other thoughts and see you soon do you have anything more to say here yeah i like the efforts of like i hope in the next couple of years more filmical will try to like do something like it and finally like true, you know true. get it yeah yeah but i, mean, I think forward, searching but... searching in many ways was a lightning in a bottle you know like yeah. uh, the fact that like i even saw an interview with the writer anish chagadi chagandi chagandi <laughs> well uh, oh my god the name keeps it like where he sort of like explained that you know each scene they used to write and they used to like see how the scene would take place in a normal film then yeah. they would compare it okay how what is the best buttons that we can use in a keyboard yeah. to True. sort of properly depict this emotion and yeah. you know that much amount of like thinking was gone into searching like which and you know like uh, for a film like see you soon to sort of have that same impact it's not possible because the amount of time spent on see you soon would be a lot lesser than i think searching from yeah. what i understand but anyway it's not to take away anything from searching anything from see you soon it's still a pretty decent watch uh, i yeah. would recommend but if you have time to just watch one film based on this genre it has to be searching <laughs> yeah and not in the genre bro like if you ha- if you are looking forward something new and something true, great true, true. at the same time yeah. searching it is like all the way around. very true very true so now uh, it's story time it's story, story time story, now story. it's story time today's podcast is going very quick and i love it like it's like chris, yeah, chris. So and it's chris. <laughs> yeah okay so um i put out a post in one of my favorite facebook groups it's it's called the planet broadcasting great mates group it's kind of um how do you describe it basically there's a world of podcasts here like it's called the planet broadcasting network where there's a very great podcast much better than our podcast Our podcast is not that good. We know it. You guys know it. We still don't know why you're listening, but you know we appreciate it a lot. <laughs> but anyway, so I put a post here saying that do you guys have any embarrassing moments during this quarantine related to work from home or online classes? And I got a few responses. I'm just going to read through them. Uh, the first one is from Daryl Sean Kennedy. Uh, this story is basically um, he says that. Uh, basically i asked if there's any embarrassing stories this one is a very small one i'm going to start with something very small it's not really a story it's more of a funny kind of command kind of thing 
uh, just spending five minutes desperately trying to get Apple Pay to work only to realize face scan doesn't recognize you with a face mask out. <laughs> <laughs> So that's kind of an embarrassing story, but I, I never tried doing that with a face mask. But you yeah. know, that's pretty funny. Like, <laughs> that's an honest mistake. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> nonsense. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. So this is the second one. It's from Dave Kola. Kola. I hope I pronounced it right. I'm so sorry, man, if I didn't pronounce it right. Uh, but Dave says, uh, "Not super worthy, but uh, gave, it gave me a good laugh." We use Zoom for work like crazy, and I didn't realize that if I have video on. And exit out of the app to do something else. It freezes my fame exactly how it was. I got sent a bunch of pics of my big dumb frozen face in a pretty funny thing. <laughs> <laughs> that this actually happened to us yesterday. We were doing the yeah. recording for something else, and I my face got frozen. <laughs> and Jake had sent me pictures over and watching it. Yeah. Your face is like this now. And uh, what happened is when the, when the video got stunned again, I sat exactly in the same position. So I threw up Jake. <laughs> but anyway, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Um, next is from, wait, next is from, oh wait, this is the best one. I'm going to save this one for last, okay? Okay, <laughs> this okay. Story, because this is the best one, okay? Okay, the next story is from Alex. Um, some guy in my class was using Zoom on his phone. Didn't have his video on, thankfully. But during another classmate's presentation, I guess he decided to take a piss and forgot to mute his mic. <laughs> Oh no! So no. you literally had the entire class like listening that, to the. That's a nightmare, you know. Like that's legit a nightmare, bro. Like, <sighs> like I imagine like they're like, wait, what is that? It's oh, just, no, it's just I raining. It's just, ra- like, it's just raining. It's just raining over I'm here. I'm gonna be super nervous <laughs> while I'm around a Zoom call or something like that. You know? It's just raining over here. I, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, then uh, the next story we have is from Lee Christopher Wright. Uh, he now shout out to him. There's a podcast called We Have Got a Podcast. That's pretty cool. Like nice name. Although I, I, I man, frankly, mate, I don't really know how many people listen to our podcast. But, you know, I'm <laughs> still mentioned. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm really, yeah, I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we get lesser views than yours probably. But we're still mentioning giving you a shout out because you are so cool yeah. to share your story with us. Um, yeah, today in my history of modern class art, an older lady, I'm at a community college, he puts in brackets, an older lady didn't mute her mic once. And we could hear so much. She coughed multiple times, had kids run through, dogs bark. I kept almost mentioning it. Then I, th- then I kept thinking she noticed it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this happened to me also during one of my classes where uh, the teacher sort of gave us a five minute break. And she was like, okay, you guys read this or something like that. I forgot what it was. And then we could listen to the entire family discussion happening in the background. Like, what don't you buy from the grocery? Like, oh, should we buy this? Should we buy that? Then the kids screaming over there. So when I read this, it sort of reminded me of that. But anyway, uh, guys, if you are, if you're someone who's interested in podcasts, do go ahead and listen to Lee Christopher Wright's podcast. It's called We Have Got a Podcast. The link should be in the description. All good, man. <laughs> I hope I did it there. Like, you know. I'm always nervous when I sort of read out stories. <laughs> now coming to the last one. This is the best one ever. Uh, this is from oh. James White. Okay, now Jay, Jay I'm telling you. Na- this, name this, school. This, this is the best one. This is the best one. Oh, I'm like hyping this bro, up. Okay? You're already hyping. <laughs> <laughs> Believing myself to have left a work call. I clicked off the micro, Microsoft Teams screen. And into my email tab. And then I let out the fart. I've been holding in the entire time. An absolute ripper that likely broke the Genova Convention for Chemical Warfare. (laughs) (laughs) I'm talking two, three seconds of rumbling gut thunder. (laughs) Upon completion, my dad from the other room yelled, Fucking hell, Jay, what was that? And I promptly replied, Farted, just got off a call. After which I heard my... (laughs) After which I heard my manager say from the other time, James, you're still on call. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the plot twist. <laughs> Luckily, all was well and they found it equally hilarious. Bro, when I read uh, this, I laughed for one minute straight because I was like, that's so weird. <laughs> like, for everyone else's story now, everyone else was sort of mentioning their stories. I kept saying yeah. stuff like, oh, this happened to me and I kind of had something similar happen to me. But 
This yeah. one, this one is great. I actually have one small story of mine as well, which I shared it in the group. Like uh, during one of my cl- online classes, a case study was being discussed, and the teacher was like, "Can anyone volunteer to sort of, you know, share to sort of explain this case study?" I was feeling kind of bored. I guess I was like, "Okay, I guess I'll do it." I raised my hands, <laughs> Microsoft Teams, and so he was like, "Oh, very good. Who's this? Who's okay, Manoj, Matthew, please explain the case study to Jack." So I was like sharing my screen and stuff like that. And we all had to make presentations. It was a pre-planned thing, but no one was willing to sort of step in and sort of do the presentation. So I sort of did it. And I was yeah. explaining the presentation and I was like, I was going pretty okay. And then suddenly uh, the voice of a girl came and accidentally her mic got unmuted and she was on a call with someone else. And she was like, Are you sir, just making this poor guy present. It's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, so it's like this old man. So it's like this old, this old man is making this poor guy present. Like this is so sad. And so it was like in so much horror. He was like, everyone mute your mics, please. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I was just standing there awkwardly. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm a poor guy now. Like <laughs> <laughs> such a power. Yeah, such a power. Power is a Malayalam term for those who don't know. It means poor yeah. guy. Anyway. We are all problems, yeah. So, uh, from the problems in a uh, way over here, we're bidding you guys farewell to the podcast. Uh, you can find audio versions of the podcast available in uh, Spotify and Google Podcasts uh, and many other places. The links of that will be in the description. We also have a YouTube channel. Do go ahead and check out you, the, that YouTube channel. We have many other videos other than the podcast. We do weekly content. Uh, we recently launched a new series called So Bad It's Good, where we take on movies that got negative reviews and we sort of just laugh about it basically that's what we do in those, with those movies uh primarily we do indian current but uh from time to time we also go we also venture into the west basically like uh jay recently did a review on euphoria uh, and it's a very good review you can see his face his handsome charming face <laughs> and you can fall in love with that face it's a great that's video. debatable that's debatable <laughs> but anyway like uh, if you can just you know if you can like Subscribe to our channel. We would really appreciate that. Uh, you can also check us out on Instagram. We have a very active page over there. Recently, James Gunn liked one of our posts. We could yeah. not be more ecstatic about it. Like, seriously, it blew our minds off. Uh, we do understand that probably was an accidental like, but it still counts. We still... Like, I checked <laughs> it multiple times. I'm like, did James Gunn actually... And then I was so nervous that he would just unlike it. He would be like, wait, why did I like, why did I like this, you know, beard post? But, you know... Thankfully, you know, he was really cool about it. And, you know, I mean, like he, he still probably doesn't know that we exist. But, you know, he liked something that we did. So, you know, that's great. Uh, Amul Parishan also has actually shared uh, a post of one of our page, like, of his recent film, which we put on our page. And he shared it. And he was, like, very kind to us. And he has also liked one of our other recent posts. So, you know, like, when celebrities like your post, you should ask yourself why we are not liking their posts. Like, you know, why not? <laughs> I'm just joking, but uh, just check our page out. Uh, it's a public page. You can, like, you can check out the stuff we have put on. And if it's something that you like, do go ahead and hit us a follow. I think we sort of covered all bases today. Jay, anything yeah. else? Yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing. Okay, nothing else. Uh, we, we are not sure about next week. We do have exams starting, but we'll try to put something together. But uh, we'll still have one, or, we'll still have a video out there. In our channel. Yeah. So, you know, we'll still have weekly videos out there. Anyway, uh, that's it for the podcast. Uh, Jay, any final thoughts? Yeah, I just want to say that for those, like, as you mentioned about the Instagram, I want to say we really are going to cross our number of posts. Uh, is going to be more than number of yeah, followers. They go, so, yeah, so big. please, for yeah. the love of God, don't <laughs> let us embarrass us, man. We are doing. No, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> see, it, it still won't be embarrassing. It still won't be embarrassing. Like we, 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 you know, it's funny because earlier you know, post and the followers, like it keeps like the gap keeps getting decreasing. Then randomly yeah. someone will like follow us, like three, four people will follow us. Then again the gap widens. Then again it starts yeah. decreasing. So we are like in a constant race, like the number of posts yeah. and the number of followers that we have. And Look, it's it, not like we are gonna stop posting after we cross the number of followers yeah, with yeah. our post. No, yeah. because we, we love who are following uh, following yeah. us and we have a responsibility towards them. So yeah. we'll keep doing that. So it's better you guys follow us, okay? And we are total <laughs> shameless people. Like, you know, if, if our video even gets one view and one like, you'll be like, huh? Are we are so happy. Man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> then we get one comment, you know, we literally jump in the air and punch. Yeah, like someone. Even kidding. Like for, you, you might have heard from many like big 
influencers like oh my god your comment matters so it for us like who it only get comments in, yeah it, <laughs> it actually matters we put we will so much care for the rest of our <laughs> yeah. life i you know because like i like at least out of 135 i know 130 followers by name you know? yeah. <laughs> because i always check it in the night okay okay yeah, these we, guys are still we here, literally, okay, we literally know like yeah. when people like yeah. when people yeah. like be like ah are sapna like are sapna or the page <laughs> like are <laughs> page always like no sima like you know okay sima we, yeah. we know about sima so much like you know we we always do it we we know and we are very thankful to you guys for like showing yeah, us your support so, and so actually thankful. you keep liking our posts and it, it really keeps us going because we are like there's someone out there you know that actually likes yeah. our posts ayushman is another guy who keeps liking our posts and there was and so there was there was my childhood friend he also likes our posts he also comes vishnu bose he also comes on our posts regularly uh i'm now the problem is we probably miss someone and that post will probably now hate on us garima <laughs> does for the garima to like our posts a lot harsh does like our posts ंग We we mm-hmm. love you everyone like everyone who likes yeah. our posts a lot we love you guys a lot uh with that happy note we are ending our podcast uh anyway guys do have a great weekend stay safe stay healthy and have fun with life.